Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. We have a pretty good match lined up for you here. Jason Kirkwood, Shane Roebuck. This is a B-side match. One of these players will be out of the tournament after this match. We are coming at you live from Eastside Billiards here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors, Emerald Spas and Billiards, Divine Flooring Installation, Don Bass, Grindin Clothing Company, and West Michigan BCA Pool Leagues. Thank you. Thank all of you for your support. It is greatly appreciated. All right, here we go. Jason with the break. Uh, nice. Wow, look at this break. Table sprung a leak. Three balls on the break and straight in on the one. He'll just come off the rail, two ball to the bottom right corner, and then he's really off to the races at that point. Off to the races, he's two-thirds of the way through the race at that point. Yeah, Jason is not one to waste time when he's at the table. Making it look easy. Jason Kirkwood, break and run, first game. Off to the races. Let's go over the rules real quick. We are playing CSI Rules 9-Ball. It is alternate break, rack your own. The 9-Ball does not count as a win on the break in any pocket. So you cannot win on the break. Jump cues are allowed. And there is no three foul rule in effect here. One additional rule that they are playing by is you must rack the two ball at the back of the rack. All right, here we go. Shane Roebuck with the break. By the way, that's 620 Frogger rate for Shane. That's a preliminary rating. He does not have an established rating. So, and I think he plays better than that 620 would. Uh, than the current 620 rating that he has. And because it's just a prelim, easy for me to say. I haven't even been drinking yet. Maybe I should start. So that's a prelim, preliminary rating, so it's not established yet. So that definitely could be going up or down. But Shane plays pretty good. Jason deliberately leaving himself a nice angle on this four to come around for the five. Ooh, may have overcooked that one just a hair. Oh, interesting choice. And I think he's got away with that. All right, same shot again. Follow two rails around. Yeah, he's overhitting these balls a little. Got the adrenaline going for sure. He does love that low inside spin uh, shot. That's one of his favorite shots. You'll see him do that shot a lot. All right, just like that, making it look easy. Two nothing, race to seven. And it's going to be his break. All 
All right, here we go, Jason, with the break. All right, one in the side. Uh, possible two nine, but I think the two passes the nine. So, does he play the two and try to run out? Does a three go by the eight? Actually, I don't think the two. I don't think the three goes by the eight. Hey there, Sean. How you doing, Sean Bacolt? So, hey, I just ride the nine. He was trying. All right, bring Shane Roebuck to the table. At least he didn't leave a uh, nice, a nice lined up two nine for Shane. All right, Shane's got some work to do. He's got a nice shot in this two to get started with. The two does pass. But he's got a, probably going to end up with a three eight combination. Oh, put some serious uh, side spin on that ball. Spun it maybe a little too much if he was playing for the 3-8 combo. He's actually in a, what looks like a, well, stand still, would you? Looks like he landed in a decent position to bank the three past the four over here. That's what he's doing, and it's almost in. All right, nice shot. Hey, Lonnie Fox, welcome to the chat. Oh, end up straight in. Yeah, Straight-ish. He'll handle it. Jason, not even not even making an effort to get uh, up close to the eight. He says, I don't care. I can make it from anywhere. And when it's practically hanging in the pocket like that, that's pretty much true. Shane says, that's good. All right. Three nothing. Race to seven. All right, here we go. Shane with the break. Oh, hi, Cody. All right, nice break. He's made some balls on the break. But not much of a shot on this two to get started with. He might be able to bank it back towards that corner pocket. Might be able to bank it cross side. I don't know. I can't tell if that six is in the way. Cross the two and just let the cue ball roll forward over near the three eight for a safety. Oy. If the bank shot is available to the corner, that's kind of the shot I like. Oh, did he get away with that? Yeah, a little bit.
This would be a relatively easy jump shot if it was uh, something you could reach. Oh, fancy. Crafty little shot there, deliberately shooting the two into the five to let the cue ball roll in behind it. It's a nice little shot. Didn't look like much to a casual observer, but that's a nice little shot. I can't see. All right, good hit. And if this cue ball keeps rolling, that's going to make for a pretty tough shot on the two. Jason just continuing to make it look easy. What kind of angle did he end up with this on this four? Can he draw back? Does he have the right angle for that? It's good. Whoopsie. All right, just, uh, just what the doctor ordered for Shane. Overrolled this a little. I might want to come three rails around back to the middle of the table. I mean, you have a choice. You can just try to slow roll this and then do something special from the eight to the nine, or just go ahead and do the three rails around, and then you'll end up with a much better s spot on the eight. And that's the that's the choice I like. Right. Jason says that's good. Shane Roebuck on the scoreboard, three to one in this race to seven. And he's going to have the break. <laughs> hey, remember to hit that like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified when we go live or when we upload more videos. And share. Sharing is caring. Uh, did we lose track of the of whose break it is? I guess it's Jason's break. All right, Jason with the break. Is that a dry break? That's a dry break.
right, he's playing a uh, nice little simple save. And looks like he's got him. All right, good hit. That's going to leave a nice shot here for Shane. Doesn't have to do much with the cue ball at all. Well, he's kind of left himself an angle where he's going to be, like, forcing himself to play this 3-8 combo, I think. I would have thought he would want to play for an angle on the two where he can drop in between the 3-8. But this angle and being close to the rail, I think you kind of have to go forward, and that might force you to play the 3-8 combo. And that 8 is sitting out of the pocket a little bit, so it's not a hanger. The combination's not a hanger. Yeah, he's going to try to draw in between this 3 8. Yeah, that's a nice shot. And that's. Fifty yard line, nah, that's kind of no man's land. Worst possible uh, spot. Gonna, gonna bank it. Looks like he's lining up the bank. Fires it in like it's nothing. Center of the hole, swish. Oh, no. I don't know if Jason can bank this five ball back at him. I don't know that that's available. I can't tell. Guess we're about to find out. Yes, he can. Off the eight. Okay, nice shot. Fires that ball in from that angle. That was a teeny tiny little pocket from that angle. And <laughs> fires that ball in. Well, he maybe not fires it, but shoots it in with a pretty good pace. No hill for a climber or something no, like something that? Something like that, yeah. Welcome back. 98. 98. It's 98 degrees out? No. It's coming back. 98% chance we'll be out of here before 10 o'clock? Yeah, I'm thinking we probably will be. This is our last match, right? I don't know. Holy shit. I have no idea. I'm just going by what you told me. 4-1. 4-1. Yeah, I think this is our last match for the night. All righty. Mm. All right, here we go. Shane with the break. Shane trying to make something happen with the break. Hit a little bit harder, let the key wall get away a little. Unfortunately, it's come up dry. But it hasn't left an easy shot for Jason. Since when is a 12-hour day banker's hours? <laughs> I don't want to be that kind of banker. 
Uh, I think he was trying to get over behind the five and didn't co didn't quite hit it right. Yeah, that ball hit one ball kind of curved to the right a little. Oh, you're gonna give him a shot? Of course not. Well, I've just uh, received word that this is the last match of the night for the for the stream, and oh, he's got him hooked. He could go rail first at this. He could jump it. You only have to jump the edge of the three, so I would I would prefer jumping this rather than rail first. Then you can hold the cue ball there for the two ball, and that's what Jason's doing. He went. Grabbed his jump cue. So Jason's just uh, firing him in and running out? Yep, he's uh, out there like he's practicing. He's back there li like he's Jason again? Yeah, he's shooting like he's practicing. Yep, you're welcome, Shane. I talked to him out of that for you. The old long straight in, you gotta come all the way back to right where the cue ball is now. Oh, Lonnie's in the chat room. Hello, Lonnie. Yep, Lonnie Fox. Yep. Captain of Team Michigan. You probably already said all that now. No, I just oh, said okay. hi, Lonnie. Okay. So you gotta you gotta plug that stuff. That's why I get paid the big bucks. <clears throat> That's got to be why. <laughs> Women's Battle of the Border that we will be airing for you the end of next month if uh, restrictions and everything at least stay where they are, if not, you know, or even improve. We can't have them get worse because then we wouldn't be able to. But <laughs> uh, Is it in? Nope. That's uh, March 26th through the uh, 26th, 27th, and 28th, and on the 26th, um, as long as everything's still the way it was supposed to be, we're going to have two of the Midwest Tricks artists uh, putting on a little exhibition. We'll be streaming that for you guys, too. Right on. We'll even pull out the microphones for that one. Yes, sir. We will have Brian and uh, and Jason Lynch uh, mic'd up. Don't line up on the nine. Huh? And uh, Lori Tripper will be uh, on Team Michigan. Lori is a solid shooter. Go Michigan. All right, did you play this music? Uh, no. <laughs> when I worked at the pool hall, and when I was managing... The oh, did he just hook himself on the side of this nine? 
Sorry, uh, go ahead. When I was managing the pool hall, it was something I would do. I'd go play, not just, you know, like the music playing. I'd go to the jukebox when nobody was playing it and play like ABBA or the Carpenters. Because I could work to that all day long just singing away, right? Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah, no, they go run to the jukebox. Just play a couple songs like that in a row and they're done. <laughs> Actually, this sounds like the kind of music they uh, play at the end of the night when they want everyone to go home. Mm -hmm. It's time for a last dance. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is for the night. The last dance right here. I'm going to try to mass say this around the, mass say around the nine a little bit here. Yeah. Get Lloyd Long to shoot this for you. <clears throat> Uh, All right. Now, now does the four, the four does drop into the side, correct? I mean, it looks like I'd shoot it in the side. With ball in hand, it should be pretty makeable for Jason. If not, the four or five combos also pretty makeable with ball in hand. You know, it's going to be really cool about that uh, women's battle of the border, Michigan versus Ohio. What? We are going to have in action for the fir for the first time for uh, our very own Litman light with the overhead camera. Yeah, talk about awesome. He's uh, short. Well, he's hooked. <laughs> yeah, he's come up short. Whoopsie. He's like freewheeling out there or something. All right, Shane, go get him. There you go. Here's the door you were looking for. Kick it in. Oh, kick in the door. I think like kick in the five. No. <laughs> so what do you mean kick in the five? No, the, yeah, the door. Yeah, kick in the door. Got it. Yeah. And bolted it, man. You get in. This isn't that easy, though. So he he, un he undid the deadbolt, but the yeah. chain is still on. Yeah, that's why you got to kick it in. Yep. Overcut nice. it. Just keep his cue ball down there. Nice. And he, he, did, he, he cheated it the, the, by overcutting it just as much as he can. Yeah, maximum cheatage. Uh-huh. Yes, that's a word. Look it up. Yes. Did not overcheat it. It was maximum. He cheated it to the max. He did not overcheat it. All right. He says that is good. We are coming at you live from East Side Billiards, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep. Huh? All right, here we go. Jason with the break. Oh, that Four, I see it. <laughs> He's talking about the percentage. Nice break. He ever learns to control that white ball in the break? He could be <laughs> dangerous. He may have a future in this sport if he could do that. Oh, no. I'm going to fall asleep in a second with this song. Tell me it's about to pick up.
Doesn't sound like it's picking up. I don't know. It's not going to. All right. He's passed it back. Yeah, I'm wondering what uh, Jason has in mind here. What is the moolah? Kevin will have that for you guys in a nice little graphic tomorrow. Uh, first place is 2400 for the tournament. Second is 15, third is 900, fourth is 500, fifth, sixth, 205, seventh, eighth, 125, ninth, 12th, 75, and 13 through 16 is 50. And the uh, Calcutta, 55 for first, 3,500 for second. What's well, 5510 for first? 3,500, 2,000 for third, 1,000 for fourth, 750 for fifth, sixth, and 500 for seventh, eighth. So some pretty decent money. So what this match is to be guaranteed double money. This yeah. is for ninth through twelfth. Yes, yeah, so winner of this match gets into the Calcutta money. Yep. Yeah, and you know, I'm the, most of these guys uh, that are left in it, I don't know personally by you know any information, but. I'm sure that they or their friends and them have bought half themselves. Yeah, if you're, good, if you're good enough to get uh, this far in this tournament, you yeah. you, you got a PC yourself in the Calcutta for sure. If not the sure. whole thing. Right. Nice soft touch. Uh, what did we have? Uh, there were 77 or 79 players? I believe it was 77, but yes, you know, in that ballpark. The bracket is at the uh, top of the chat room there, the top of your chat window. All right, Jason says that's good. All right. Four three. And he's breaking. Yep. It's nice uh, when you can win a when win a game and then uh, get the next break. Keep that uh, momentum going. It's about the best you can do in alternate break format. Uh, looks like somebody's up five to nothing over there in Mark's match. I don't know if it's him, but he was stroking him pretty good over here. I'm about to find out. That's six nothing. I don't know right, if that, so he's, I think that's a match. All right, so he's made a ball on the break. He's got to look at this one. Can't tell. I don't think the one goes to that bottom right corner. It may just have to just roll the one mm -hmm. up to the end rail, cue ball into that little cluster. Not a big fan of back cutting this, unless you're feeling really good about it. But it's rare that I'm feeling that good about a shot. Yeah, no, we're <laughs> playing safe for sure. Nice, nice shot. shot. Uh, it's got a one rail up table. It could uh, do put a little reverse on it and shoot straight into that rail right there. And you could also kick three rails uh, this way, you know, between yeah. the five nine, three rails, three rails behind the one. Yep. Trying to kick the one back up table. Cue ball stays behind this cluster of balls, and that looks like that's what he's doing. 
or in the Ooh, side. Almost, <laughs> almost kicked that in the side. Now Shane has a similar shot to what he had on his last shot. Get there, and looks like he's got there. Nice shot there, Jason. Yeah. Got it. See, does he have a window to cut this one in? No, he doesn't. He was just down there lining up. Maybe he's lining up the jump shot, maybe. Yeah. To see if he wanted to jump it. Just kick it in and run out, you know. All right, good hit. That's going to leave a pretty nice shot for Jason. Two goes in the side, goes in the other corner. But from that angle, he's going to be probably drawn back to play it in the side pocket. Yeah, I think he can draw it back this side of the side. Yeah. I mean, he does have a little bit of angle, but I think he can draw back using the side rail. And he needs to get the, about the foot spot would be a really nice place to be. It was on its way. Yeah, now we're good. Yeah. All right, rearrange some furniture a little, and I don't think he's terribly pleased with that uh, furniture arrangement. Nice shot. Out there like he's practicing. Yep. Something to be said about that. So we were watching that, uh, that Sky match, Sky and Roberto, and he looked like he was just out there practicing. Uh-huh. <laughs> nice. 5-3. Here's that bank shot. Just, eh, no big deal, just. Like it had eyes. Oh. All right, Jason with the break. 5-3, race to seven. That's trouble. Kojak in the subway. Yep, and he made most of the balls. Made three. Uh, Not no. counting the white one. No, if the, you got to start with the two. I definitely wouldn't be... Sh that's the four. Okay. He's starting with the three. All right. I'm like, wait a minute. So he's just looking at where he wants to be when he... Yep. From the three to the four to get to the six. Yep. 
Yeah, he has a very odd pre-shot routine. I must have been hearing things. I thought I heard a miscue, but it didn't look like a miscue. Yeah. Maybe it was somebody else. Might have been. This is some of the fastest I've seen Shane uh, shoot. I'm used to seeing Jason shoot like this, but not Shane. Yeah. Maybe he should stick to it. It's working. It's working for him. Right now it is. Five four. Hey, he pulled one of my. He pulled. He pulled to Kevin. Says that's good after he shoots it. Nice break. He's made a ball. He's got a shot on the one. Two ball. Yeah, that's it's gonna, out there, that's too. That's going to be a bit problematical. So, uh, What are we doing with the two? Can I cut the one in? Come uh, three rails around table up you know, between these balls to get to the two? Uh, he was just going to set up for the 2 7 combo. He's playing safe. Apparently. He's setting the trap. He's daring Jason to kick at this, hoping that he uh, follows it in. That's his, that's his plan. Yep. Oopsie. Do it again. Yeah, just kick the two in this bottom right corner. Yeah. You should be good on the three if you do. <laughs> no, he'll be hooked behind the five. You're just nasty. Now I know where your son gets it from. Hey, don't shoot the messenger. Let me know about the celebrity. Okay. I'm going to say, hi, everybody. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming out tonight. For everybody in Michigan and all the surrounding areas, we really appreciate it. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. Love, Penny. No fun work. Yeah, no. Well, he's sitting pretty good on the bank shot. We've already seen he's pretty good at these banks. And <laughs> James says, sounds good, Penny. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They, okay. they, already, they, heard they already heard you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, holy cow. Rut row.
I think there's a big old window there. Yeah, but he left a uh, pretty good bit, bit of distance. Yeah, that he did. Six ball does help. Oh. Didn't need it, though. I mean, it helps if you overcut it. Oh, I got to drink my drink. Hmm. All right, bottoms up, everyone. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stingy pockets. Oh, look, there's a pool ball over there on that table. Get around. I don't think he got there. I don't think that five passes the eight. Uh. Uh. Stun it to side rail and back out. Looks like he might be going forward with it. No, he's stunning it. Yeah, just like that. Back out to towards the middle of the tailor, right about where he is would be good. The eight ball passes the nine, it looks like. Yeah, that was a pretty nice shot on the five. Looks like the eight passes the nine. If not, you can uh, just shoot this some left spin, come down for the eight in the side. Shane tying it up five apiece in this wow. race to seven. It's going to be Jason's break. Uh, I think Mark won over there like seven to one. That's a pretty good win if he did. Pretty good win for somebody. For Mark. Yeah, seven one. Robert Thornton and Cody Meyer. Myers is playing over on uh, table three right now, and that looks like it might be two two or two three. And then this table here, and that's uh, all the matches for the night. Uh oh. Another one? Oh, and he's uh, oh, oh, made three. Uh, where's this two going? Nah, wow. Oh, the two that, five looks a little better than the two yeah, nine. Yeah, it does. But, but it still got funny. Yeah. Well, with, with ball in hand, you can shoot the uh, one in that right side pocket with follow to... Uh, send the cue ball to that right side rail and right at the line of the 2 5 combo. The rabbit goes home. Huh. I, I've never heard that one.
There's an eight ball over there and a side pocket. Wow. All right, here comes the jump cue. Yep. It's an uncharacteristic mistake for Shane. I mean, I know he's not, you know, he's like not like a flawless player or anything, but that's uncharacteristic mistake there. I thought he was jumping it. Oh, he almost made that nine. Nice effort. But what is he? Is he forcing Jason to shoot this? Uh. Oh, he's just a bad hit. That wasn't it. Wrong button. Uh. Well, I'll show the replay as soon as this game's over. Pretty routine two balls here for Jason. All right, let's check the uh, replay on that hit. All right, that was good all day. Their ball never moves. <laughs> yeah, so totally a good hit. You should not be uh, just taking the word of random people in the audience that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what they did. Unsolicited uh, <laughs> at that. Yeah, someone in the audience chimed in and said, that was a bad hit, and I guess they took his word for it. All right, going to be Shane's break. Ouch. Would you, would you stop throwing things at me? Mm, probably not. All right, go get this one, Shane. Get him, Shane. Sick him. Yeah. He, he's owed this game right here, at Absolutely. least. Absolutely. Look at that well, that's break. a pretty nice break. Holy smokes. And he's even got the right angle wow. on the one. Uh, hopefully that's the universe making it right. Right? Right. Come up a little, little short here. A little short. It's got to uh, dodge some traffic now. Uh, 
I slowed back down again. Did uh, it get did there? Wow. Uh, that's tight. Oof. That's so tight. If it if it goes, yeah, all he's got to do is just hold his cue ball there. If it doesn't, you just pop the four over the rail and let the... He caught it. Mm. Safe? Did he get a safe? No, nope. he did not get a safe. Uh-huh. <laughs> Around the world for it. it. Came up nice. Crushed it. How'd he hit well, it? Um, he's gotten he's got bad on this seven. So how'd he hit it? Uh, not so great. Yeah, I know. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit crispy. He overcooked <laughs> it. Yeah, I like it medium rare, and he definitely cooked it. Well done. Hey, some music that isn't sleepy time. Uh, this match was moving right along, and it's, it's like they both started <laughs> goofing off or something. Almost uh, like they're—I don't know. No, well, you take it. No, you take it. Definitely, Jason. I, I didn't yeah. get the—I didn't get that vibe from Shane at all, but I definitely got that vibe from Jason. Yeah, he's just swinging for the fences. Well, that landed pretty nice for Shane. Uh, a little bit, yeah, you think? Mm, I know. Must have a ride that's wanting to leave. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Say a plane to catch, but he, uh, hey, he's not going anywhere. He lives in Grand Rapids, right? I think so. On the hill. Hill, hill. Here's where that uh, all-important lag comes in, or did they flip the coin, or did they lag? Everybody's been flipping tonight, haven't they? I haven't, I haven't seen a single lag. Yeah. That's why you need it to be a thing of skill because of this all-important break right here. Yeah, if it's going to go hill-hill, do you want the person breaking to be decided by a coin toss or by, by a lag? Yep. All right, here we go. Jason for the final break of this, of this set and of this live stream for tonight. Not sure where you're looking, but yeah, Jason Kirkwood, 770, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And sometimes you have to, you know, you know, all you have to do, you don't even have to put in full names in Fargo. The first three letters of the first and last name. Yep, that'll usually get you there. Yep. Or less if you don't even know the first three. Yeah, but the first three letters of the first and last name brings up all kinds. Yeah, but no. Yeah, it, the only thing it pulled up was uh, Jason Kirkwood of uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it might have spelled it wrong. Yeah. All right, interesting uh, push out here. And I think he says, yeah, go right ahead. 
You're gonna let him fight. You're gonna let him fire at this uh, bank on the nine here. And is the billiard onto the seven? Is that available? He's going for the seven. He's made it. And, and is the, the two, two going to drop also? Yep. And is he going to come around? No, as <laughs> usual, he's hooked. He's been doing a lot of that tonight. That's nice speed. Oh, that was very nice speed. Which way are we? Are we One rail? jumping this or kicking at it? It looks like he's uh, kicking at it. I don't like coming off the short rail, you know, uh, starting at the short rail there, or the long rail, but the, you know, the, I like kicking at it, uh, you got a little more room with your cue ball to move first. All right, he's going to get his jump cue. Doesn't like kicking at it. Hey, he's got a Lukasi jump cue. I have one of those. They're cheap and plentiful. It's like yeah. every, everybody has one. Yeah, well, I have one that was made by a rocket scientist, so there. You have a Lukasi cue made by a rocket scientist? No. I have a jump cue made by a rocket scientist. Yes, you do. So there. Nice. Good hit, so but that's going uh, oh. to leave it for Jason. Yeah, that's a dead. Well, luckily for Shane, that four does not go in the corner. He says... Jason's going to have to work a little bit of magic to do something with this four ball. He's going to have to come underneath it for the four in the, you know, one of the far pockets, far side, far corner. And side pocket, at least the point of the uh, side. Point got him. Uh, point saved him again. Yeah, you know, we had said, you know, thing that as we used to say for that, but. Does it pass or does he have to play the combination? I don't does think it not, goes. Does not pass. Play the combination looks like the four ball will end up over on top of the nine. Uh, can he can he just send the four and get behind the five? That's what he's looking Maybe at. Maybe send it into the six some, and use the six to hold it. That's not the safety he yeah. was looking for. I think it was the one that uh, Shane was looking for. Yeah, should just in the corner, bottom right, draw back between the five eight. No, James, you two doesn't. Kevin does. <laughs> <laughs> We're family friendly, uh, James. Nice shot there, Shane. Oh, a little, little short on this. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, but you know, just got to work a little harder to hold the cue ball for the eight. I think, unless I'm no, seeing just, the angle wrong. I'm okay. I'm seeing the angle wrong. That was no problem at all. I thought it was thinner than that. Well, maybe not, because that cue ball did take off. No, yeah, it got away from him. Ain't nothing easy at Dumb Hill Hill.
Overcut it. Yep. Wow. You can tell it's uh, the end of the night. Had to have pool players up at 10 o'clock and here at 10 o'clock in the morning stuff. Man, it's, that's not easy stuff. Oh, I thought nice, he was nice gonna, shot. I thought he was going to slice this in come uh, round table. I'm shocked. Oh, it's a nice shot. Oh, no. Oh, wow. All right, this was an elimination match that does eliminate Shane Roebuck from the tournament. So good shooting, uh, good shooting both players. 